Hey guys, Cyclone here with a video that you probably didn't see coming. <laughs> and honestly, I didn't either, but I think it's important enough to talk about this topic. Because I'm, I am a weekly follower of One Piece. Uh, I know people have seen my Hunter Hunter content for several years now. Um, but I did also, at the same time, I was into One Piece, um, you know, 2013, 14, kind of like that realm. When we were going into Punk Hazard and Dressrosa, I was really getting involved in the story. Um, you know, I've missed out on, like, watching the whole thing. It's, uh, it's, a, it's a little much for me, honestly. Um, I know people are like, oh, you gotta go back and watch the whole thing. But I'm, I'm caught up. I'm, I am current. Um... Uh, I might not know all of the former characters, all of the plot lines, but I know the general scope of the situation by this point, and I feel confident in talking about this video. Chapter 1013 was bananas. Um, I wouldn't make, like, Wano's been great overall. There have been some, like, questionable pacing choices, questionable decisions on character development by Oda. But overall, for a One Piece arc, this is one of my favorites. Um, and this this last chapter, um, spoiler warning, as you probably understood, you need to know this chapter before you watch this. So just be warned. It looks like Ulti's finished. I mean, Big Mom combines this freaking laser beam attack. It one-shots the bitch. Like, she's gone. It went right through her. I don't think we've seen a, uh, even an ancient Zoan come back from getting completely impaled all the way through. Like, that's... Dude, page one was taking those meteor kicks from Sanji, and he got up. He's like, ugh. You know, like, look at Queen. Queen got thrown into the palace and, and, and whatever. And it's like, ugh. You know, oh, my head hurts. Ulti got one shot. <laughs> one shot by Big Mom. And the attack looked lethal. So, at the very least, Ulti's written out of the story at this point. I think she could be killed. But, like, I want Oda to pull that punch. Like, I want him to go that mile and make the story more intense. We're in Wano. We have Kaido and Big Mom, two Yonko together, first time ever. I want there to be some gravitas. I want there to be some weight here. I want Ulti to be killed by that attack. And just show how crazy Big Mom can be if she's if she's pissed off. Because for the longest time, Big Mom's like this joke character. She's super powerful and takes no damage, but she's a joke. Have her kill somebody at Ulti's level. Make her scary again. I felt that. Like, like she just one-shot a, a fucking commander-level character. Like, he's like, Beep. Not just one-shot, literally murdered a commander-level character. Murdered her. Like, get out of here. And yes, Ulti to me is basically in that discussion of a commander-ish style character. Um, you got King and Queen who are who are both very capable. They're taking on characters like Marco. And they're not taking any significant damage or anything. Like the the flying six are right at that level, and Ulti's been very impressive, but like she one shot Ulti, dead or not, I hope she's dead. But then the ending. I gotta, I gotta talk about this. So, Oda off-screened Luffy getting blasted off the island. We see him falling unconscious. The Oda white circle eyes. Luffy's out cold, man. Luffy, Luffy's knocked out. K.O. Kaido did not seem hurt at all. He's just like, oh, I should have cut off your head. They're going to see you and know that you can win again. Kaido could have killed Luffy. But he didn't. He just sent the mother off the island. Knocked him out. Sent him flying. He, his lifeless corpse is falling toward the ocean. Now, he's going to get saved. Will it be Marco or will it be Law? Room? I think we have a couple options to rescue him. He's not going to die here, but Luffy lost. That's a, that is an L for Luffy. Number two. Number two L. And I freaking love it. Why do I love this moment so much? Kaido 
beat Luffy again. Now, there are some Luffy fanboys who are like, you know, main character, how can he lose again? Oh my God. Because the world building has portrayed Kaido as an unstoppable monster. When it's one-on-one, -on -one, Kaido will win. That's what it says. Oda wrote those words. He wrote that mythology. When it's one-on-one, -on -one, you will lose to Kaido. Luffy's mad impressive. I mean, he has now surpassed the hockey levels of a character like Katakuri. Minus observation. Katakuri is still the best observation user we've ever seen. But, like, he was knocking a character like Kaido in his hybrid form on his ass. Like, you know, oh, Red Hawk. We didn't see Luffy go gear four against this new Kaido with the Rio power up. But we see that he got knocked off the fucking island. Now, if the anime wants to animate this fight and put Luffy into gear four, I would love it just to really hammer down the narrative that's being told here that Luffy in Gear 4 Rio Enhanced still gets knocked off the island. Because, Yonko, the world is built around these characters. They're the emperors of the sea. And not only that, one-on-one, -on -one, Luffy set up a one-on-one -on -one scenario. Indirectly because Kid and Killer went after Big Mom and, and Oda chose to write that as the fight, but he lost... With what the narrative was. The narrative was that Kaido would win a one-on-one -on -one fight here. And he did. And, and Oda stayed true to that. Not some bullshit fairy tale friendship convenient plot device. No. L Luffy lost, even with all of his progress, to a one-on-one -on -one confrontation with the strongest creature on Earth. Why is this a fantastic choice? Because I don't want Wano to just go to Luffy and say like, oh yeah, Luffy has another island under his belt. No. I want the Straw Hats to lose here. I know that sounds crazy. Oh, he hates the main character. I want Luffy's character to be more imperfect than he is. And the thing is that Wano as a location in the story is very important to Oda. It's feudal Japan. It's, it's the Japan of history, of lore, of mythology. And a lot of that is very important to Oda himself as an author. So to me, make Wano more relevant going forward. You know, Luffy just gets this place and we never hear from it again because it doesn't matter. But Wano is centrally core to Japanese history and lore uh, from a thematic point of view. So it makes more sense that Luffy would revisit this issue later on with more involvement from the world government, from the Yonko. Wano becomes even more important. So why not have Wano be lost now and Kaido regain some strength? But maybe there's a problem with Big Mom and Kaido that kind of sets up a rift between them. And then we go into the final battle in a couple years and Wano's on the table as one of the plot points for that for that fight. And it's Kaido and his army coming in. Big Mom and Totlan and Elbaf. We have to see what happens with Elbaf. But that's the whole narrative issue here. Is Wano really going to Luffy now? Why does he need it? He has Dressrosa. Luffy basically owns Dressrosa. People don't really understand it. Like, Luffy, a lot of his fleet comes from Dressrosa. They're indebted to him. So it's like, yeah, that's his island. King Riku's going to be like, yeah, Luffy, what do you need? Anything. Anything you want, Luffy. Here it is. Like, I wish we saw more of Dressrosa's involvement with Luffy's endeavors. But we don't see that because Oda can only write so much. But we have to understand that Dressrosa is basically Luffy's island. The moment this man shows up, he's a king there. So, like, does he need Wano? I don't think so. I think we got Luffy's heroic journey on Dressrosa against Oflamingo. But Kaido and Wano? That's like a world-shifting plot point. 
Odin has a whole flashback on Wano, and we're expected to say, oh yeah, now Luffy's going to save the day. There's so much more history to Wano than just Luffy showing up. The world needs to be involved with Wano, in my opinion. And that's why I say build up the hype and the suspense for Wano going to somebody else. Right now, it's like, yeah, the scabbards are involved. They tried. They wounded him. But, like, what if Big Mom takes Wano from Kaido? What if she sabotages him? What if the world government cuts a deal with Kaido and then Luffy now has to take down the world government and work with Shanks to fight the One Piece and fight the world government and Wano together? We see that CP0 is on the island. So could they cut a deal with Kaido? And then Shanks and Kaido, do you see where the plot could go here? It's so much better than just, Luffy saves the day! We already had that in Dressrosa. Why do we need it again? Let's have more suspense in the plot. If Orochi's not killed off now, which, I mean, yeah, but like, he could become a, a wild card in everything. Because he has so much invested in Wano. There's so much that could happen that resolving now would just shut the doors to. I don't want these conflicts to be stopped now. And I don't want the exploration to stop. Because Luffy saves the day. I want more world building around Wano. And that's why I want to make this video. Discuss. Talk about your thoughts about, as an author, how would you write this arc? Me personally, Wano to me... It's the beginning to a bigger world plot point. Luffy should not win this fight right now. Luffy should come back when a bigger plot's involved with more attention to Wano and its importance to the story. More characters are involved in figuring out what happens with Wano. Not just Luffy saving the day. I'm tired of Luffy saving the day. That's why I want this to expand. And this last chapter gave me a glimmer of hope Maybe Odo will have the Straw Hats lose for a change. Please. I want the plot to become more interesting. And that's, that's why I'm making this video. There's a glimmer of hope that we're going to have a part two to this whole Wano issue. To this whole need for Wano to be Luffy's island. But I don't write this stuff. Oda has to write on a regular basis sell his content to a publisher on a regular basis, make the money, and maybe doing all that is just not convenient for the you know overall story, but it's what it is, guys. Anyway, I thought this would be a great discussion topic, and I'll see you next time. Cyclone, signing off.